For this off shoulder, circle short down. I will be using a stretching material for it. Then I will put my fabric in the Then I will pick this side, this edge here, this edge here, and I will go this way. Make sure there is no folding in between. There is no folding inside. So the main way I will need for this uh, and for this gap, I'll need the short gown length of my client, then the shoulder, and also the total circumference of the shoulder, because it's going to have band at the uh, end. So I don't want it falling or dragging. So I measure the total circumference of the shoulder. So now the total circumference of the shoulder is what it is. The shoulder is 15, and the length of the gown is 44. So I'll, I'll measure my length, the length of the gown. Now I will, I will subtract three because it's double shoulder. I'll subtract three. I'll need that for the band. Then I'll measure my forty-four. Three then forty-four. Now I'll rule it out. After getting my full length, I'll just pull it out on the straight line like this. Then I'll measure my shoulder, which is 16. Then from here, I'll, I'll measure the length I have here, which is 41. Then I'll go around with that 41. Chucking my down part, then over part. The next thing for me now to print just the cutting out. Now I'm done cutting my fabric. Then I'll put sample. For to get me the sample, you this know, this part is joined. This part is open, and this part also is joined. So I will open this side again. So this will be the two sides, and this will be the front and the back. Let me do it so you understand what I want. I'm trying to explain. So now, I'll open this side. So I'll just come in by two inches. Or let me use one and a half. I'm coming by one and a half inch because I want to put back. Okay. Then, as I said, I will move three. Then I will use seven for the half inch, which means it should be three L uh, seven minus three, which is going to be four. Or if I just let your table come up, then you measure seven. The rest of the book form of my three inches when you made up the book. So now, this is what I'm So you need to make one here. So I'll just show band to this side. And the total circumference of my band is 46, which means I'm going to measure 14, 46. Now I've cut my band. I made it six inches. You know I said it is three inches. You know I said it is three inches for the band. So now I will I will have to fold it into two. So that's why I made I measured six inches, and I put allowance for the joining. So making seven inches. This is seven inches.
for seven inches. Then the um, the length is forty instead of forty six because they stretching my material. I used forty four. Now to do the drawing. 